Hello everyone, today we will be going over Unit 2 of Calc AB. We will talk about various ways to find a derivative and important rules that you must know. Learning differentiation is essential to learning calculus. If you haven't already, make sure to also view my Unit 1 video and subscribe to my channel to know when I post other unit reviews. First, we need to know what a derivative is. It is the rate of change of a function and basically is the slope. The instantaneous rate of change is the slope at one point of the function, and is also referred to as the slope of the tangent line, since it only touches the function at one point. The average rate of change refers to the secant line, which finds the slope from one point on the graph to another point. A common question will ask us to calculate the average rate of change between two points, or estimate the derivative at one point using points around it. They both involve getting the average rate of change, and in this example, we can estimate f prime of 1 by using the two points around it. We use the slope formula, which is f of b minus f of a over b minus a. We plug in 4 minus 0 over 2 minus 0. We get our answer as 2. As for instantaneous rates of change, there are different ways to express them using limits. A test question could ask you to solve for one of these forms. The first one returns the derivative as a function, which you can plug points into, and the other two return the derivative at a point. In this example, we can tell that f of x is x cubed, and x equals 5. f of 5 is 125. It fits the third form, and it can be rewritten as f prime of 5 when f of x equals x to the power of 3. In the second example, it fits the form because 3 plus h is cubed, and 27 is 3 cubed, c equals 3. To express a derivative, there are a few possible notations that you can use. These are the most common ones and they all mean the same thing. A few important points apply when relating continuity to differentiability. Continuity is a requirement for functions to be differentiable, but not all continuous functions are differentiable. To test if a function is differentiable, we check if the derivative is the same when approaching a point from two sides. In this absolute value function, the slope from the left is negative 1, but the slope on the right is 1. Since there is a sudden sharp turn, it is not differentiable. This can be summed up in this statement. Next, we will look at the actual differentiation rules. First, the derivative of a constant is 0 because it doesn't change. If we have a function like c f of x, we can remove the constant at the start and multiply it back after deriving f. When deriving terms separated by addition and subtraction, we can derive them separately. Next is the power rule, which we can use when dealing with something like x to the power of 5. The product and quotient rules deal with multiplying and dividing. There are also trig rules, and e to the power of x is just itself, and ln x is 1 over x. Let's do some examples. With x to the fifth, we can multiply by 5, then subtract 1 to the power. We get 5x to the fourth. If we have a fraction, we can rewrite it as a negative power and do the same steps. Multiply by negative 3, then change the power to negative 2 by adding 1. The same applies for fractions, and also when there's a constant. We also have the product and quotient rules. In this example, we have x squared times ln x as f times g. The formula is f prime times g plus g prime times f, so 2 times ln x plus 1 over x times x squared. We simplify and get our answer. The quotient rule is very similar, but you subtract instead and use g squared as the denominator. The trig differentiation rules are also pretty simple, but require a bit of memorization at the beginning. A few noticeable patterns helped me learn them quickly. First, the derivative of sine and cosine are each other. The tan, cotangent, secant, and cosecant derivatives are all very similar, and the tan ones are secant squared, and the secant ones are secant x tan x. All of the functions starting with co, such as cosine, 
cosecant, and cotangent have negative derivatives as well. With these, you should be able to memorize them quicker. Now that we know these basic rules, a frequent question will be finding the equation of a tangent line or a normal line. If you remember from the first slide, the tangent line is the line that touches a curve at one point. It is the derivative at the point as well. Knowing this, we can use the point-slope formula for a line. y1 is the y point, x1 is the x point, and m is the slope of a point. Given this function at x equals 2, we can plug in and find that y equals 1. Next, we find m by taking the derivative at 1. We use the rules we learned earlier to get 3. We plug it in and we have our tangent line equation. To find the normal line, which is the perpendicular line, we simply take the negative reciprocal of the slope. That's it for Unit 2. Differentiation is a necessity in calculus, so make sure you are familiar with all these topics. After practicing the rules for a while, it should start to come naturally, and I even found them fun to do. If you are confused or don't find a topic in this video, leave a comment and I will make sure to help you out. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe so you know when I do a Unit 3 video.